In this speech, delivered by renowned investor Warren Buffett, he recounts his early experiences in the stock market and the pivotal moment when he discovered the flaws in his approach. He emphasizes the importance of a particular book, The Intelligent Investor, which completely changed his perspective on investing. Through this revelation, Buffett learned to focus on long-term value and fundamental analysis rather than relying on technical indicators. The speech highlights the significance of transformative moments and the impact they can have on one's life. The speaker also touches upon the fascination with predictions in the investment industry and expresses his skepticism towards them. Then I, then I started, I got very interested in technical analysis and charted stocks and then all kinds of crazy things. Hours and hours and hours and, and, uh, and save money to buy other stocks and, and tried shorting and, and I just did everything. And then when I was either 19 or 20 and I can't remember exactly where I did it or something, uh, I picked up a book someplace. It wasn't a textbook at school, but it was in Lincoln. Nebraska, and I, uh, you know, I, I looked at this book and I saw one paragraph, and it told me I'd been doing everything wrong. <laughs> I, I just had the whole approach wrong. I was, I thought, I thought I was in the business of trying to pick stocks that would go up, and in one paragraph, I, I saw that that was totally foolish, and I left. I brought something that. Really interesting. It's Warren Buffett's realization about his flawed approach to investing, sparked by a single paragraph in a book, marked a significant turning point in his investment philosophy. It highlights the shift from trying to pick winning stocks based on short-term price movements to a more strategic and long-term value investing strategy. This story underscores the importance of continuous learning and the ability to adapt and evolve in any field, including investing. Let's put up, uh, let's put up, uh, what do we call this chart? Eh. I don't think we, need... oh, here we are, yeah. Let's put up illusion, uh, illusion one. Done. Yeah, there we have it. You know, now if you look at that, some people will see two faces, some people will say a base, and some people will look a long time and only see two faces, but the mind flips from one side to another, and that's, well, there's some, some name for it that, uh, uh, they call it ambiguous illusions or something of the sort. Uh, there's other things that talk about aha moments or, or in the old comic strips with Popeye Wimpy would have a little balloon over his head and the light bulb would go on. There's this point where all of a sudden you see something you haven't seen. Well, it took me, I had an illusion that I was looking at, we'll say in that one, two phases. Go to the, let's go to the uh, one labeled Two. And if, you're, if you're looking at it from one side, you look, it looks like a rabbit, and if you look the other way, it looks like it, you're looking at a duck. And, and you know, it, 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 the mind is a very funny place. And I think people call it an apperceptive mass when you have all kinds of things going on in your mind. And they go on for years and they sit there and get lost. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you see something different than what you were seeing before. Now, and it took me in stocks, which I was intensely interested in. I had a decent IQ and I was reading and thinking and, you know, and it was important to me to make some money on it. Every, I had every, every motivation in the world. And then I read a chapter, I read a paragraph, actually, in chapter eight, I think it was, of The Intelligent Investor. And it just, it told me that I wasn't looking at the duck, I was looking, you know, now it was the rabbit, whatever it may be. 
and whether you call it a light bulb, whether you call it you know, a moment of truth, whatever it may be. And that's happened. That happened to me in Lincoln. I mean, it changed my life. If I hadn't read that book, I don't know how long I would have gone on looking for head and shoulders formations and 200-day moving averages and the odd-odd ratios and all, a zillion things. And I love that kind of stuff, except it, wasn't, it was the wrong stuff I was looking at. And I've had that happen, and Charlie's had it happen, I'm sure. Warren Buffett talks about illusions and how they can lead to transformative moments in our thinking. He shares an example of a visual illusion with two faces and a vase, as well as an experience in his investment career where a moment of realization changed his approach to investing. He emphasizes the power of these aha moments in challenging and reshaping our beliefs. I, well, I, I will tell you what changed my own life on investing. I started investing when I was 11. I first started reading about it. I believe in reading everything in sight. and, and uh, I uh, first started reading about it when I was probably six or seven years old, but for, se for about eight years I wandered around with technical analysis and doing all kinds of things, and then I read a book called The Intelligent Investor, and uh, I did that when I was 19 down at the University of Nebraska, and I would say that if you absorb the lessons of The Intelligent Investor, mainly in, I wrote a foreword and I recommended particularly chapters 8 and 20, that uh, you will not behave like a lemming, and uh, you may do very well compared to the lemmings. We have here in the bookworm uh, uh, copies of The Intelligent Investor, uh, and I, uh, I think it's as great a book now as I did when I, when I read it uh, uh, early, I guess in 1950. Uh, you will never, you can't get a bad result if you follow the lessons of uh, Ben Graham taught in that book. And I would say this, in terms of the of predictions, and I, I know the spirit in which you asked the question, but there's just there's a market out there all the time, uh, and, and people love to hear predictions. I mean, if, if I said I was going to offer a bunch of predictions today, I mean, we, we would have a million people here. I mean, they, 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 they're dying to have predictions, and speeches at Rotary Clubs or trade associations or whatever, that's, they, they, they just plain love it, and that's what a whole industry is built upon, you know, the, the people coming out of Washington that to talk about political predictions and the I don't read those in the paper at all because it's, it's just it's it's space fillers uh, basically and uh, uh, you've mentioned Edgar Casey Ben Graham uh, knew Edgar Casey pretty well but I, I, I just have never seen any utility to any of that at all there will be some huge surprises in the world uh, there's no question about that but I don't I don't think that betting on any specific one is, is a very smart policy. Warren Buffett's speech sheds light on his personal journey in the stock market and the profound impact of reading The Intelligent Investor. This influential book redirected his investment strategy and taught him the value of fundamental analysis. Buffett's experience serves as a reminder of the importance of continuous learning and the potential for transformative moments in our lives. Furthermore, his cautionary words regarding the obsession with predictions in investing offer a valuable perspective, encouraging investors to focus on long-term value rather than short-term speculation. Ultimately, Warren Buffett's story serves as an inspiration for individuals seeking a rational and disciplined approach to investing.